Update. Am I the asshole for taking my daughter's car back because my ex-wife was driving it? A lot has happened since my last post. April has asked to come live with me full-time and Alice is livid. She's accusing me of bribing April with the car, saying that I'm trying to buy her love by letting her use it while she's with me, but honestly, if Alice hadn't taken April's car and treated it like her own personal vehicle, April would still have full access to it no matter which house she was at. Alice's husband Mark came to see me last week. He seemed genuinely conflicted, and although he stood up for Alice initially, he admitted that Alice borrowing the car without even discussing it was wrong. April has been feeling increasingly sidelined in her mom's life, and this was just the breaking point for her. She told me that she feels like she's constantly coming in second place to her step-siblings. April also opened up to me about the deeper issues that have been brewing. She's felt like her mom has been distant ever since Alice and I divorced when April was 10. April said she never felt like she got an explanation from Alice. She just watched her mom move on and start a new family without really considering how it affected her. The college situation is a sore spot too. April knows about the savings account I've been contributing to for her college, but it's not enough to cover everything, especially because Alice kept dipping into it over the years. Since coming to live with me, April has seemed happier and less stressed. She's got the car to get her where she needs to go, and I'm doing everything I can to make sure she feels supported, emotionally and financially. Alice, on the other hand, has been blowing up my phone with accusations. She's furious that April moved out and keeps insisting that I've manipulated our daughter into choosing me. I have encouraged April to visit her mom, to drop by randomly, to go to Sunday dinners. But she doesn't feel welcome since the car incident. She's hurt, and I don't blame her for feeling that way. At the end of the day, April's happiness and well-being are my priority. I'm not trying to keep her away from her mom, I've told April she's free to see Alice whenever she wants, but I also can't ignore the fact that Alice's choices have made April feel unwanted and unimportant. I'm not even going to ask if I'm wrong this time, because I know that I am not.